Hey everybody, Danny Hart here. Thanks for joining us. This week I had Chuck come and see me, really struggling with his consistency of ball striking and he was producing way too much curvature on his golf shots. Now, he cited a problem with his downswing as the main factor and it certainly was. Certainly what he was doing in his downswing was, is, was you know, causing him to come across the golf ball, affecting his strike and adding lots of curvature but the real cause actually happened in the first few feet of his golf swing. Now I see this with a lot of golfers. A lot of golfers are having to make various different compensations and you'll see them if you ever see a swing on camera, kind of strange movements in the, in the downswing. You know you don't want them, but the question is how do you get out of them? I've personally found, and same, same with Chuck, is that usually those problems are a byproduct of what happens before and it's your body's cleverness at trying to compensate for issues that have happened right at the start of the swing that kind of creates those weird movements. So what we did with Chuck is, is we helped to set his swing up to win. We wanted that first move back here and, that, and through here absolutely spot on because if he could learn to, in a sense to get this bit right, everything else would start to flow. And it did. We got that first section from here to here working perfectly and the ball flight was so much straighter, but more importantly, he was also getting compression and strike as well. So he gained a few yards. Now in this week's training, we're gonna cover how to set you up to win too. Before we do that, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your first videos, consider subscribing. I release videos just like this one every single week to help you improve your game. So setting yourself up to win, what are we really after in the takeaway? Well. When you move the club away, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the club here is working online. You want two lines here, right? We want the club, when you get hands get to about hip height here, we want the shaft in line with the feet. And we also want the club face parallel to the spine angle. Those are the two things that we really want to be after here. And on the way through, we want something similar. When we're coming through here, we want the club face parallel to the spine angle. We don't want it wrapping around here. We don't want it wide open here. We want it completely parallel here. And when we get to hip height, again, the club pretty much parallel with the feet. Let's have a look at it from this angle. So I take the club away. I want the club here completely in line with my feet and the club completely parallel with my spine angle. And notice this, it's a coordinated movement. I'm working it away together. What does that really mean, a coordinated movement? Well, the lead arm here and the club are forming a fairly straight line. And I like to call this a lever. And I'm not activating that lever at all in the first few feet of the swing. I'm allowing the lever to stay intact. What do I mean by that? This here would be breaking the lever. When you break the lever, you throw the mass of the golf club and this becomes the biggest issue. Watch this. When I break the lever too, easy, uh, uh, too quickly here, watch this, the mass of the club gets thrown behind me here. If I throw the mass behind me here, my body can often kind of do weird stuff here on the way back, causing it to throw the mass back forward on the way down, causing it many, many different issues. So we don't want that. We want the mass, ideally, we want this mass simply doing this, working its way up to the top and working its way back down to impact. If we can work the mass this way far more efficiently, we will generally hit much, much straighter shots. Question is, how do you go about achieving it? Well, the first thing is to realize you have a lever. The second thing I like to do is this. I like to get a little kink in my lead wrist here. I like to just get this kind of kinked upwards here. And what we do from this position here is this. I simply practice working that movement away here like this, all together, getting a sensation of that. Look at this motion here. Get my lead down here. Work it away, backwards and forwards here. And notice this, no lever being activated here. Club face is completely square. I'd also do that on the way through. Look at the sensation here. And this was one of the things that really kicked it uh, into gear with Chuck. We really worked on his through position here. So I've got a kink now in my lead wrist here. Now watch this, get that sensation here. Put my right hand underneath, start to work the club away now, just practice this motion here. Nothing more than that initially. One, two, working it away, always on line here. Now at this stage, you may be asking, well, what do I do from there? Well, at this stage, remember, we want to move the mass into its probably fairly light position. We don't want it to be falling back. So on here, we just allow the mass of the club to work itself up into the sky here. And as we come back down, we're coming back into position here and working it back where? Back into there. So the way you work on this initially is very simple. We hit some shots, you get a little kink in your lead wrist here. You work it backwards, get a rhythm for it so it's not too stiff and wooden. Through into impact here, 
through to halfway back here. Let's have a look at this in action. So we're not going to go for any big shots initially. We're just going to work on keeping that lever intact for as long as we can. I got a little bit underneath that one actually. Not the best shots in the world, but never mind. So let's have another crack at that one. So what I'm doing here, get myself set. Work the lever backwards and forwards here. Get that sensation here where it needs to be on the way through. And again, no big shots at this stage. Much better. There we go. Now you've got that motion in play. This is just the first bit. Again, we're just tapping this ball forward. Then what we're gonna do is start to build it up. So we get ourselves set here. You've got a feeling of this. And this is really works well with irons and woods. Get that motion here. Little kink in the lead wrist, just ping it back. Okay, backwards and forwards. You'll notice I'm doing this as well. Notice how close the butt is to the side of my leg here. I've got another video I'll put in this top leader left hand corner here where I go into more detail on, on the butt here. But for now, this is a simple thing. And so all I did with Chuck was getting working that lever backwards and forwards. And I like the follow through position here because it's like reverse engineering. Get a feel of where you need to be here. Now, if I said to you, get into this position, would it make it efficient if I did this? Yeah, no, look at that. Oh, and if I, oh, this, this, if I start rolling the wrist now, it's gonna be very difficult look for me to get there. So now what I do is you've got to work on this motion backwards and forwards and you simply just start to extend it backwards and forwards here until you get into that full swing. Let's have a look at this. Take our time. Gradually we're going to extend it now backwards and forwards. Much, much better. Yeah. So you build it up very gradually, very rhythmically to start with. So let's summarize in this takeaway. What have we done? We've got a little kink in the lead wrist here. We want a coordinated move away. We don't want to throw this mass around too soon. So we move the club away, backwards and forward. Try it with your lead hand initially here, keeping that club fist completely parallel to the spine here. Have a look at this, completely parallel to the spine. Put your trail ham on. Gradually work it now into this position. Look at this here again. Look. On the way through, I'm there. On the way through, no lever at this stage has been activated as such. Yeah, just for now, just for the fit, just get that feeling here. Now imagine building that up bit by bit into the full swing, back into a sit impact here, and through into a square position. Would it make it efficient if I start to roll my wrist and throw the mass here? Of course not. If I'm coming here, I'm going to have to roll here. And look at that impact position, very, very different. This is how you start hitting much straighter. It's also how you start to perfect that takeaway. Let's have another look at this in action. Start ahead, get a feel of where I need to be here. Work it back. For some of you, it might feel a little bit kind of wooden because you're not allowing the wrist to relax initially, and that's fine. Let's have another look at this. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Remember, look, if you are struggling with your uh, swing, a lot of the factors can actually come down to that takeaway. You sling this big mass around here or sling it up here, you're gonna have to react to it. Don't activate this lever too soon. Get a little kink in that lead wrist, work it backwards and forwards here, get a sense of where that club face is back and through. Remember with Chuck, he loved what I call the reverse engineer, starting here. If you, if you start here and try to work out the best way of getting there at any stage, would it make sense for me to go around here? Of course not. Would it make sense if I want to get there to come out here? Of course not. So starting there, working it back, start very small and gradually work that club up. Get the mass working upwards. Don't let it work around you. If it works around you, you're going to have to do lots of things to compensate on the way down. Look, if, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody who's struggling with their swing. It can be a major factor to a lot of inconsistencies. And of course, look, if you've got any questions at all, leave them in the comments box below. I'll, of course, you know, as you know, I'll answer them every single day. So until next week, have a great golfing week.